Hey friends, good to be with you again today. And I don't know about you, but I struggle, struggle making decisions. I really do. And maybe it's because I didn't, I wasn't allowed to make any decisions growing up. Every decision was made for me. So today when I was thinking, hey, I think I'll talk about making decisions, it was like, yeah, other people might struggle as well. And in this world, we get paralysis or analysis paralysis because there's too many decisions to make. I think my problem is also that I have too many things on my mind. So I want to share a few poems with you. The first one is called Safely Through. I don't know which way to go, I told the Lord today. He answered, that's the problem. You keep trying to find your way. My thoughts are different than your thoughts. My ways are higher too. So you just need to take my hand. I'll see you safely through. This next poem, actually the next two poems, I wrote just a little while ago as I was thinking about this whole idea of decisions. This one's called Cluttered Minds. Lord, my mind is cluttered. Thoughts falling over each other, fighting to get heard. I'm exhausted from watching. Decisions wait in my inbox, growing weeds. Not to decide is to decide. And then the panic starts. The calendar gloats, rubbing dates in my face. The decision demands front row, or else it's leaving. I leave instead, undecided. And this next one is called Choices. Choices demand attention. Scream with urgency. Tap their feet. Silence doesn't work. We feel cornered. Minds slam shut. Everything halts. And then he answers, hearing a plea unspoken. Seek me first. Lean not to your own understanding. A head bows in silence. Clouds part and a path appears out of nowhere. This is the way. Walk in it. Those are what was on my mind. And I guess <laughs> I got transferred to the paper and then shared with you. Do you struggle making decisions? I'd love to know if you do. It's nice to know we're not alone. So feel free to put that in the comments. But I also think a lot of the trouble we have making decisions is based on so much going on in our world. Too much. I remember once hearing that if the year was 1880, I can't remember the exact year, and they had the information that we have even in a Sunday newspaper, from a big city, they didn't get that much information for more than a year. And we get it on one day. It's just overload. There's always images that are pushed at us. Decisions needing to be made, but too much information. I don't know about you, but when I go to the store, I don't even like all the choices I have to make for one item. Used to be you go to the store and there'd be a couple different uh, post Kellogg's. I don't know. I'm dating myself. General Mills, right? Not many choices. And now you get all those choices for every kind of cereal. It's too much. It's just way too much. So, what is the answer in our making decisions? Well. God says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Just like that poem reflected. 
when we stop and we pray, we'll hear his voice. I also think there's something that I've learned recently that has been helpful to me. We don't need the urgency. So I'll even have my daughter check on me and I'll check on her and I'll say, or she'll say, you're feeling urgent. And that helps me. It helps me to think of what is going on that I am making this so big. It's not urgent. So we need to stop, we need to pause, we need to talk to the Lord about it. Sure, seek, and seek some counsel from somebody if you trust somebody's opinion, but God's opinion is the one that really matters. And he will give you clarity. You may not get it when you want it, and that simply means he also wants you to wait. I'd like to pray for us that God would give us wisdom in the decisions that we have before us. I certainly want wisdom in the decisions that I have to make. So may I pray for you and for me. Father God, thank you for this time where I can just share what's on my heart or poems that you've given me. Would you help us to make the decisions that are the ones that would bring glory and honor to you? Lord, we need your wisdom. And you've told us if we ask for wisdom that you'll give it to us liberally. So we do pray for that wisdom, Lord. And I also pray, Father, that if there's anyone out there who is hurting, that you would be their comfort. I think of Lynn and her need to get better physically. And I think of Corey and what she's going through with her dad with cancer. Father, please help us. Help us to pause, help us to pray, and help us to listen to your voice above all others. We just commit this to you and pray in your son's precious and holy name, in Jesus' name, amen. If you know anybody that's hurting, you can go to my website and you can get the book about um, real love, which has different stories in it and different things that God has done. And that's a book about how one girl found God without even looking. If you know someone in grief, I've got another one about helping someone in grief. Check it out, annpeterson.com. And thanks again for those of you that took time to watch and for those that have left a comment. I appreciate each of you. I'll see you next time, but I hope you have a great rest of the day. Bye.